Hello everyone and welcome back to Horses by Hula Chowdown with your host Hula Chowdown. I have a bunch of boxes to open because I just spent a ton of money on beauty stuff because there was like a ton of sales for like 1st of July for Canada Day and 4th of July for like US Independence Day so I just I kind of went ham because why not like if it's on sale it's on sale so basically I kind of just got a lot of stuff and yes I am sitting on a couch this time trying to get better lighting you know so my stuff is on the floor so if you see me reach down that's why <laughs> The first thing I really got was like this, like it's cosmetic, like brush cleaner. Like it is, this stuff is amazing. Like it's kind of expensive, I guess, for brush cleaner, but it really works. You spray it on your brush and like you wipe it or something on like a cloth or a paper towel. And like, it's so much cleaner. Like I use it on my beauty blenders when they're really stained too. And it gets like, most of it out like I'm not gonna say it gets every little tiny bit out but like it's a fat it's like an instant brush cleaner so like it's better than not and you just like she can shake it and like 60 seconds later it's dry so you can use it right away um this other thing I got I got like the whole kind of like ombre radiance kind of kit it was like a special edition thing came with this like bitty little like blush brush and I love their brushes but it's just like a miniature one for travel so I don't need to bring like my full-size one and this is the blush it's like ombre it's, it's like really nice like I think it's like a really nice color like it's like really pink Okay, the lighting is kind of terrible here. Here. So it's like really quite pink. I mean, I didn't swatch it amazing. I'm not a, a beautuber, okay, people? But like, it's a really nice pink. I put it on and it looks so flawless and so perfect. Like, you know, honestly, I'm really happy that I got it because it's a lovely blush. And it just doesn't like sit up, sit in your like pores or like any lines. Like I know I'm young, but I still have lines. Like I live outside most of the time. So I get a lot of like sun exposure. So I'm starting to get like little itty bitty lines. And I just, it looks bad when you have like makeup cakey in it. Like I totally get the struggle now that I don't have like perfect like plump childlike skin I mean another thing I got from it cosmetics is the CC cream it's like your skin but better CC cream it's an SPF 40 and it's really great I use it like every day like e every day like I wear it riding I wear it out like I use it as full makeup like and it works great. I use it as foundation. I, I find I don't really have to, I don't know, I don't really have to like work that hard. Like it just blends nice. It like, it's like skincare, but foundation. And for someone like me, who's like not very gifted with the whole makeup thing and I don't have lots of time, I just like pump some up on my hand pick the brush all over like my t-zone and like all like stipples on like my like red spots like my pimples or whatever but you know how I keep hitting that fan it's like in the way sorry Dyson anyways so yeah and I got it in fair light because I always blend fair in the light because I'm fair in the winter and I'm light in the summer, but like when I'm in between, I mix it. 
So I thought, hey, well, I'll try the fair light. I mean, it's a little more pink, I guess, than it would be if I just took the fair and the light, which are both kind of more yellowy. Or for me, it tends to pull more yellow. My skin is a bit more like of a yellow undertone, but I don't know. Like people are like, you got neutral skin, you got warm skin. I don't know. The lighting in your ear is terrible, I just realized. So you can't probably tell either because I'm backlit because, you know. I caved and just put the lights on because apparently it's going to rain right now. And it's just like day turn to night. Like it's all black out there and it's crazy storming. So if you hear weird like noises, that's the storm. And yeah, I'm just gonna sit on the ground because I can't figure out how to film with this new tripod yet. I'll work on it. Anyways, the last thing I got from Ace Cosmetics is this Bye Bye kind of under eye illuminator. It is really nice like I put it like here and it's just it makes you look so awake I use just like a little bit because it's pretty heavy I think this one yeah it's a waterproof concealer so like you can cry and sweat and it's not going anywhere which is great because sometimes like when I'm sweating a lot or when I'm working I don't want my makeup or like oh like you know my hard work to like just go away I'm not saying it you have to wear a full face of makeup all the time but you know I like to because it's fun I like makeup anyways I got a bunch of stuff well not a bunch but a, a fair bit of stuff from Colourpop too because they had their astrology collection on sale so I think it was like 50% off I don't know so I got the Gemini, this is the Gemini eyeshadow. It's like this really, really nice shiny gold. Like, you know, you can't see super awesomely because of the lighting situation, but like it is a super shiny goldy color and I like had it on today. It's actually perfect and it's funny that it's Gemini because I'm a Gemini so it's like perfect for me you know but that's okay yeah so I also got like all these these shimmery shimmers loose pigment shimmers and it's like the whole like astrology sign I think it was like 50 bucks and then it was like 50% off so it was like I don't know maybe $30 or something like that and these these pigments they're so shiny like I know the camera can't pick it up but they're all like really metallic super shiny shiny not sure if I'll ever use them all but like you could use them like on your face you could use them as like whatever they're just loose pigments so you could I don't know, maybe for a costume or I don't know. They're really nice, so I probably will use them more than I think. You know? Especially because I think I'm gonna get rid of some of my old stuff because I've had some of my other foundation and eyeshadow palettes like forever and I know that technically they're expired. But you know when you're in college you just kinda keep using it. Or when you're in high school. You just kind of keep using it. Okay, so I'm gonna just open these boxes. I don't, I don't even know what's in these ones. I haven't opened them yet. So this is an unboxing. I want to know what's in here. Oh yay! This is my. Why is it? It's like crazy. It's like a sulfur mask for all my pimples. I'll show up for them. So it's 
the Peter Thomas Raw Clinical Sulfur Mask. Because basically, I don't know, I've been breaking out like a lot, probably because like stress and sweat and it's really hot out and humid. It's weirdly humid. Like we're in a desert normally. So it's, my skin doesn't know how to handle humidity. Stop. Okay, I'll stop. Is that all that in that box? Yeah, okay. So that's good. I'm glad this is here because I really needed that. Let's see what came in the Sephora box because I bought a lot of stuff from Sephora too. It's not that they really had a sale. It was more just like my birthday month. So I had some kind of need to like buy myself presents. Because why not? Plus, like, some of them are on sale. Some of them are just new. Yeah. Yeah. I'm happy with my purchases, though. Because it's a lot of things that I've wanted to try for a long time. Like, finally, I got me some Mac Fix Plus. Because everyone keeps talking about it. So I finally paid and bought it because I was like, whatever, it's the same as stuff from the drugstore. Well, apparently it's not. Apparently it's better. So I got a mini size. Let's see if I like it. I also decided to try the Fenty Beauty Primer because I recently tried their foundation and... I found it was like really nice so I just thought like I'll try the foundation because you know like if I'm traveling it might, it might not be great now but like for days where it's super humid or I'm traveling it's nice to have like a really mattifying primer because I like I have really combination skin and when it's like humid out it's just like oil like it's like an oil slick but like this part will be dry my chin will be dry my nose will probably be dry but just my forehead and like right here it's just like so oily so if i want any hope of keeping foundation on i find like i go for like a really strong mattifying primer and that works pretty well so i thought i'd give it a try plus it's like kind of a cute mini size no, so extra. And then I got the Becca Hydra Mist powder because everyone was saying like it's so good, it's so hydrating. So basically, I'm like, okay, like I might need that because like on the everyday, you know, some places need hydrating and some places need mattifying. So I kind of just have to use two products as extra and crazy as that is. It's just what works best you know like that's what works best that's what works best and I think Tarte just came out with this cream but it's like bubble balm it, you know I thought like I'll try it because I've liked Tarte stuff before you know and I need to find a new moisturizer so I figured you know why not try it so this is the Ciate like watermelon burst primer and gloss. So was lip oil, sorry. Yeah, so I figured, you know, this is like a hydrating primer. So like, you know, like you put the matte and you put the hydrating, like it, it might work. I don't know. I'm always on the lookout for new products that work. Cause I wouldn't say I found anything that I mean I'm amazed by when it comes to primers so I'm always willing to try new ones basically so yeah I'm always kind of like sure I'll get the trial size and try it <laughs> you know and I finally got my hands on the Tatcha silk canvas primer I mean, this might be like completely overhyped, but no, it's not. That's, oh, that's so smooth. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna love using this. But like, I'm probably only gonna use it like sparingly. We'll see. Like I probably won't put this all over my face. I might only use it for like special occasions once I figure out what I'm doing. Cause these little things are expensive and they're not as easy to buy as you think. Like they're always sold out. So, you know. Then I think I've got like a ton of like samples because that's what I do. I buy things when it's sample time. So I get like bags of samples and then I take them at the end of the year, the ones that I don't want or my family doesn't want. Well, no, not even end of the year, just like almost, almost monthly really, because I just, I have a lot of stuff and I like to help, but like I'll take the extra stuff and I will put them in little like bags, like, you know, little zips and I'll give them to the shelter and then they give them to homeless women who either just need a pick me up or like if they're trying to get like a job, it's just kind of like, you know, how some, there's some programs that like give them like nicer clothes for like work, you know, professional interview, like we'll donate them. See if it's a guy, for example he needs a suit they'll give him like a suit like a secondhand suit and like help him be prepared for the interview so like in that program i guess they could give me the guys too like i mean whatever whoever wants it can have it i don't care if you want to look good i totally get it like you know guys are makeup too i'm sorry for for being that way i, I didn't realize i was being a little rude there but really like i'm like they need it like these little samples like i probably won't need it you know it's you know so i'll just so these like it's like to your lipstick and like so you know like imagine if you're just trying to get your feet back under you like this would make you feel a lot I guess more fancy it might not help everyone but I know for me like when I'm feeling well like kind of putting makeup on and, like doing something a little more extra makes me feel a bit more confident it makes me feel just better about myself so that's why I'm really into like getting lots of samples and then if if I don't use them if nobody uses them like this, like this could be like a hair kit for like multiple, like I'll split it up and then I'll probably give it to the shelter and like now these women will have like some really nice product to put in their hair, which they probably haven't had in a very long time, you know, like and a lot of these people, at least in my city, it's, it's not that they're like living on the street or like you know destitute or have been that way for a long time it's just there's been like a lot of unemployment in my city recently so like i don't know like a lot of women in these programs have kids and like they're just trying to get a job so that they can get back to work because they lost their job and probably their husband lost his job and now no one has a job so like if if giving them a little bit of makeup or hair products just gives them a bit more confidence, makes them feel a little bit better. Maybe that'll make the difference for them getting the job. Like as superficial as that is, it, it's proven that it, it does sometimes make a difference. You can walk in there with your head held high and you know, you look, you look the best you can do. You're gonna do better than if you walk in there thinking like, oh, I wish I had that, I wish I could have afforded that, I wish I could have done my hair nice, or I wish I could have some lipstick, just, you know, like little things sometimes make a really big difference. That's, I think that's what I'm trying to say. But yeah, so this is my haul. Like, these are all just like hair products. So yeah, that's probably where those are gonna go. But. You know because I probably don't need to use these 
So I'll, I'll do that. I'll basically give them to charity. Or like another thing I do is like, oh my God, this is gonna sound really bougie, but sometimes when I go to like Barbados or stuff, like when I'm on vacation, like I'll take these with us because I'll give them to our housekeeper and she'll give them to either her daughter or her daughter's friends or children. And like for them, like they can't, they could never afford a dear lipstick in a thousand years. They can barely afford food. They can barely afford like to finish their house properly. They can barely afford like the bare essentials. So like, you know, like there's a lot of things that they want like us like they want iPhones they want this they want that so it's like if I like when I get a new iPhone sometimes I'll delete all the crap on my old one and then I'll just like bring it there and give it to someone I know because like to them it makes the world and maybe it shouldn't but it does so the the, the joy that people get when I do things like that to me makes it worth it so basically yeah like I'll give it to our housekeeper which is Simone like she is my mother from another brother like literally like she acts like I'm her baby because she's known me since I was like easily a teenager so of am her child almost like she sees me like at least once or twice a year and like we're, we're very much like family when we go there we don't treat her like the help we treat her like she's part of our family like you do your job we do our bit and look it's all good and like yeah like her little babies come and we like hang out oh they're so cute like literally her babies are adorable and like her daughter's baby is adorable too so it's just a different life and you know i i don't care like you know like giving them this like moroccan oil for example like for them they'll be like in heaven because they'll like probably have been dying to try it but like yeah like hell are they gonna find an extra like whatever 40 bucks to buy like the product plus duty plus shipping because it's on an island so like like there's no way so like you know we'll buy them things for christmas that we know they like or like again like i'll make like like i'll take all my samples in december or like november and bring them with me and like just give them like just give them to the people and like you know especially if you get little like if you can pick the samples, I always get like little sunscreens or like creams or shampoos because like literally there's times where like these little ladies walk by on the beach and like they don't even have a hat and they're like trying to sell you like jewelry and stuff but like nobody's buying because people don't really do that there so much. Um, so yeah, these people are just like trying to make a living. So my mom and I are so cute, we'll always be like, oh, hey, like, you want a hat? You want water? Like, we'll chat with them, like, every day we see them, like, I, you know, like, treat them like they're my grandma. Like, if my grandma had to sell stuff to make money to, like, live by, I'd, I'd like to hope that, like, someone would make sure she has water or, like, just check up on her like some of these women are are easily in their 80s and they're walking around in the middle of the day trying to sell like these stupid bracelets that no one wants like they don't even want them and they know the tourists don't want them but they're just they're trying to make money like you know you might make ten dollars a day twenty dollars a day but to them that's food like that pays for their food so you know that's really it is you know and then if you can give them like a little sunscreen packet or you know like something it makes them feel good and it's like it's not even meant like as a condescending like oh here you go it's literally meant as like do you want it because I'm not gonna use it and like 
I'm all for hope in life, fellow human being. But anyways, I'll end my tangent there because if not, I could go on for hours. Hours, oh my God. I'll never shut up. Anyways, thank you for watching this. If you watched it up to now, you are an ultimate fan. And I just wanna hope that you're gonna subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Why are you watching this if you're not subscribed to me? If you are a crazy person or like something because if you don't, if you're not invested in me, like, I don't know, like, why are you watching this to the end? Like, if you're gonna watch this to the end, like, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you can get told when I put out random videos like this. Um, yeah, so subscribe, like, or I guess dislike. And leave a comment if you have any tips, advice, you just want to say hi, hey, I'll say hey. Or if you say something, I'll probably comment thank you because why, like, of course I'm going to thank you. But yeah, thank you for watching this. You are awesome. Hopefully, <laughs> I'm actually better about getting videos out this week, but... I'm really busy, so hopefully one will come out soon. Yeah, let's go with that.